Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring Silver Dial, which I created just a few hours ago, just to show you quite a cool app that I haven't really used, but it has one really awesome feature, and that app is multi-picture live wallpaper as shown here and you might be thinking well what's so great about this app well here's something for starters let me tap our calendar dial switches to calendar let me tap twitter dial switches to twitter let me tap my music boom switches to music phone like that look at that look at the dial look at the dial now you might be thinking wow that is quite complicated to do and i never even thought my android phone could do that well now you know that you can and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to produce this screen that we have right here. Let us begin. Okay, starting from the very beginning, we're going to start off with our Apex launcher as always. And once I've opened it, it'll look a bit different to this. But change your settings to the ones that are over here. It'll make things a lot easier for you. Okay, once you have your five screens, you are going to be using the multi-picture live wallpaper. Don't worry, it's free and provided in the link below. Boom. All right. First thing we're going to do is go to wallpapers and we are going to go to live wallpaper. That's where you'll find this bad boy and go to multi-picture live wallpaper and you'll go settings from there. Now you want to change add individual settings and you want to add in five screens. All you have to do is change this little slider here up to five and then it'll show up five right there. Now you will tap your first screen and take picture source, single picture. And once that has loaded up, you'll go, I always choose a quick pick and then choose the ones that I have given you. As you can see, there's five here. So for my first screen, I'm going to choose this one that shows our little user like there. Select that and little don't worry, it'll change everything for you. But that's all you need to do for this. So all you have to do is for the next two, three, four, and five, just do those for the other skins that you would like to do. Once that is done, you'll go set wallpaper and it'll set all of them for you. As you can see, there's my one, two, three, four, and five. But now you might be wondering how in the world do I make it when I tap my phone, it goes to my phone. And when I go to calendar, it jumps to my calendar. Well, that's where Apex Launcher comes in, which will be in the next part, adding in our home screen jumpers. Let's do it. Okay, for our home screen jumpers, we are going to be holding down our home screen and go Apex Action. Now, depending on what screen you want to go to, you'll select one, two, three, four, five. Look at Apex. So cool. Right, now for say, you want to jump to your calendar, you'll say screen two. Just remember what screen you chose in the multi-picture live wallpaper. It'll make things a lot easier. Also, I just know that scrolling across will be my second screen. All right, so once you have this, you'll hold it down and go edit and change it to a blank PNG by tapping that, select picture, quick pick, blank PNG, select the blank PNG, go OK. Now it has disappeared. But don't worry, it is like here, if you tap it, it'll jump to that wallpaper, creating an optical illusion that the dial has been turned. Okay, great. Once you have done that, for say the first screen here, where I've placed jump to screen two, three, four, and five, then you just do that for the rest. But now say when you scroll to screen two, you'll have one, you won't have two anymore, but you have three, four, and five. So double checking that, you'll just have that and it'll go back to one, back there, it'll go back to two. And then all you do there is do it for the rest of all the screens. It is a bit time consuming, but totally worth it. Once you have your whole screen jumping, dial turning action in order, you can carry on with just adding all the widgets at the top. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't worry, I provided everything in the link below. Please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as there'll be many more daily video tutorials on how to produce Android home screens just like this. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you tomorrow.